Now this video I was asked for about the butterfly valve that I made uh, in my hopper. Right, there's the butterfly valve at the bottom of the hopper. Um, there's just a one millimeter clearance either side to stop it from pulling through and I've got about three millimeters either side on the left and the right hand side from the screws. Uh, and <coughs> what it is is a piece of 10 mil bar uh, which is bent and I've cut away a piece in the middle to let the plate sit on there flat and I've drilled two holes at 4 mil diameter so I will show you on the whiteboard right. yeah. give you some sort of idea <coughs> so that's what I did. That gives you the uh, the uh, how, how I made the butterfly valve. It's just bolted on with two four mil <coughs> uh, Allen screws. The uh, the bar the, the ten mil bar is drilled and tapped. A piece is ground away out of the middle or machined. <coughs> In my case, I just put on the mill and milled out three millimeter depth. To give me enough room for the screws to go in. Uh, that's really all there is. And then on <coughs> the other side of the uh, the actual hopper is all it is is just <coughs> just just an old gas cylinder. There we are. It's just an old gas cylinder cut down to make the hopper. <coughs> The, uh, that is a, a piece of three inch box section which I used, I cut a hole in the bottom of the gas cylinder, <coughs> cut the top off and that's how I made the hopper. The, um, any smaller than the three inch uh, it blocks up. I did make a two inch one and that blocked up straight away. After a few minutes it blocks up. So there it is. What I did, that bit of bar there, that bit of flat, and that bit of flat there, <coughs> that is the gap. So it will slide on the top of the four inch, four inch pipe. So that's what I've done. Same on this one. If you look there, right, you can see it that way round. Um, you can also see that what I did is goes across like that, fits in there and that's open and that there, that gap is the uh, width of the 3mm plus what I did is I stuck a hacksaw blade in there um, to keep the gap right and then I just welded it up. That bit there, added on there, is to seal the top of the pipe so you don't get burn back and part of the problem that people are having with burn back is that they've not got the airflow right in their fires <coughs> so if you're getting burn back up the up the tube that means that the amount of air you've got going in the fire is too small uh, if you increase the airflow that means then you won't get burn back that's the other way of stopping it that's really all this video is about I hope that helps you out and I hope that helps you to make one of these hoppers. Um, I was asked by, I forgot who it was now, somebody asked me uh, online to give them a view of my hopper. That is all there is to it really and I have got a bigger one and a, a bigger cylinder which is probably a bit better. This is only a, a little dinky one which that lasts me all day so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, it won't last all night, but it will last all day. It lasts for about eight hours, and that's good enough for what I do in my workshop. The the other modification I'm doing at the moment is uh, a mod to the to the fire. Is this right? Now that when I've finished, will go through the back of the fire, and that is the the new water supply which will be through. 
So that 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 one's the flow. That one's the return, and that will go through the the four-inch box at an angle. So it will actually sit like like that, going through the box section, and then I'll connect the two pipes up. But the idea is that I'll be able to use this and put one, but I can probably put four of these in, so I can connect four four up 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 the back part of the fire. So at a later date you will see that I will do a video at a later date. So hope that helps you. This is Dave signing off. Don't forget the bits at the bottom, thumbs up or thumbs down or <coughs> subscribe. This is Dave signing off. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.